Merry Christmas to those of uh, you that actually have the Christmas boxes and celebrate Christmas to those who celebrate something else. Happy holidays and thank you so much for participating in this. This is our first day, our first day of videos. We hope we, you, that you enjoy these. We hope you get a little education out of them and uh, we hope that they're a little bit of fun. Today for Beer One, we are talking to David Files from Energy City Brewing. Energy City is the one brewery in this box that is not within 15 or 20 minutes drive of us but well worth going to check out for beers such as the one that you have in your box. So I'm gonna bring David in here. David and his wife, Heidi, are partners in the brewery. David is the head brewer. David, thank you so much for participating in this. I know it's not something you guys do often, but we're so glad to have you a part of this box. Yeah, thanks so much, Eric, for, for inviting us to participate. And thank you to all the fans out there who bought this uh, 12 Days of Christmas uh, pack. We're really excited to be part of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, Eric's always been so supportive of us from uh, way back in, uh, even before you had the place open, you were calling us and asking for our beer. And we were so excited to be in one of the new places in Downers Grove. And I've really enjoyed uh, going there, there and talking to you about beer too. You're a home brewer and um, I appreciate that uh, amongst our uh, bottle shops, uh, those that really like the craft and know how to make beer themselves. Thanks, David. Um, so you guys have done a lot of IPAs, a, a lot of stouts. It's really how you kind of started, but then you moved into these um, flavored Berliner style vice beers. What's the inspiration behind these? Um, so honestly, uh, I was inspired by our fans that come by the brewery. Uh, you may have seen some of the lines uh, that formed on our first Saturdays. We used to just do a one day a month release and uh, people would come from Indiana with these beers that I'd never tried before. It was from 450 north brewing company and uh, they said oh you know you got to brew these this was a couple years ago this one has pineapple tangerine coconut and marshmallow how do you come up with the flavor combinations in these beers because they're you do a different one almost every week yeah so this one uh the name is ambrosia which uh, some of you may be familiar with the the summer salad it's made with some sort of whipped cream and pineapple and coconut marshmallows so um like this beer, uh, we get a lot of inspirations uh, from foods, from uh, especially cocktails. Uh, we do various combinations of fruits. We like to do some like a combination of like a sweet and sour to kind of balance it. Uh, we start with a Berliner uh, Weiss style uh, base beer. So it already has some sourness from lactic acid uh, bacteria like lactobacillus. And we're doing most of our fruited uh, sour beers at Church Street Brewing Company in Itasca. Um, they're really flexible with the stuff that I want to do, and it's been great to to be partnering with them to to make our beer. So I I go there, and and when we're mixing up the the batches, I'm usually there um, supervising and tasting, and a little more of this, a little less of that, whatever. Well, you can't really do a little less of that because once it's in there, it's in there. But yeah, anyway. yeah, it's only more of everything else that you have to balance it out. Yeah. I love the cocktail uh, comparison. Actually, that's perfect for some of these. You mentioned Church Street Brewing over there. Um, the uh, for folks that don't know the only way to actually purchase this style of beer is to go see energy city in batavia they have their own drive through space you have to order online in advance you come through and they nicely socially distance put it in your car and and send you on your way um how are you uh, what are the the other lines that you're selling there because the the bistro grande is not the only type that you're doing there yeah so we have uh we've done a uh, we have our IPA lineup, which is our hop something, you know, hop surf, hop nawi, hop reefer, whatever we've had all these, those are just our hazy IPAs. And then we have a batisserie series also inspired by food. So it was named after a combination of Batavia and uh, patisserie, which is like a pastry shop, like a European pastry shop. So it's batisserie is the series. And we do our s'mores stout and we do a Neapolitan stout. And since uh, recently we've started doing some fruited stouts, which are pretty unique in the industry. Not many people are doing like a slushy style stout. Uh, we called them a slurry, I guess, because, you know, slushy was already taken. Um, so slurry stout. We did a blueberry maple syrup one. We did a raspberry tart. Um, we've got one coming out this week, uh, which is a, like chocolate covered oranges, although that's not going to have the slurry. It's just going to be uh, just slightly fruited stout. Um, and then we just started a new series called Turbine. And uh, this is inspired by uh, a different way we do the fermentation. It's not a kettle soured beer. We use uh, fruits that are tend to be a little more acidic. So it's a, uh, we call them American sour ales. And uh, those are often themed off of things like cocktails, uh, margarita type things with lime, think of lime, lemon, but then they're also dry hopped. So it's a combination of 
uh, dry hopping and a sour. You know, we, we use a lot of different kinds of fruits. I, I order from all over the country, different places, depending on what I'm looking for. You know, I've, I've, with this, the most recent one we've done is one of these um, um, strawberry uh, twister turbines. Uh, tell you, strawberry is one of the most difficult fruits to really get to be expressed in a beer. I think we've, we're almost there with this one. It's, we've done, I don't know, this must be our sixth or seventh strawberry beer, and they've all been not quite up to my standard. You're, you're your own worst critic, because I don't think I've had a bad beer out of you, so maybe it's not meeting your standards, but it's certainly meeting ours and everyone else there. Um, David, thank you so much for participating in this. Again, we really appreciate your support with this. We love your stuff. For everybody yeah. else, um, you're going to see in your email, check them out, check out where you can order online, where you can go check them out in person, and hopefully down the road, we'll be able to get your beer at an actual tap room, David. Thank you again, <laughs> man. Uh, but we really appreciate uh, that people do come out to the brewery during these times. Um, yeah, every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., we do our uh, curbside releases. You can order starting at noon on Wednesday, uh, and that's when we post the menu, and that's through our website, energycitybrewing.com. And we're also uh, working with Osner. That's a, it used to be Craft Cellar. They're an online um, kind of a, a beer release app. So you can also check out Osner uh, after like Wednesday at noon and you can place your order through them too. Uh, so you got a couple options uh, to place your orders. And then you can also just stop in on, well, drive by on a Saturday and um, you know, just see what's available and you can pay at the curb as well. So thanks so much for including us in this uh, pack and we're really excited to, to uh, be a part, the, part of this pack with all the other great breweries that are in there. You made a nice selection this year.